recording. Made easy. So what's up everybody? Uh, this is Peter coming to you with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning about uh, the static keyword. And the static keyword is an interesting, it's an interesting keyword. And what this keyword allows us to do, it, it gives our variable or function, um, it makes it last till the end of the the whole program so it doesn't just last until we're done with it it lasts or it doesn't last till it's out of scope it lasts for the whole duration of the program and so uh, uh, it has some unique uses and, and it's very cool and it the cool thing about st the static keywords is it can only be initialized once so you can't reinitialize uh, a static variable. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just be making a short uh, method, and we're just gonna call it. Uh, we'll just call it count, and we're just gonna say static short count equals zero, and we're gonna say count. Uh, we're gonna say return. We're gonna say return plus plus count. Now, um, the reason why I said plus plus count is it will add one to count before it returns it. If I put the plus plus after, it would return count and then it will return the, um, it would add to count after. So it just depends on the order that you do it at end. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'm just going to call SEDC out, sorry. I'm just going to call count. I'm just gonna call it twice. And just put system pause. And I'm gonna run this program. And as you can see, it says one, then it says two. So that is interesting. I, at the beginning of this, I set it equal to zero, and then I return um, I return the value plus one. And then when I call count again, it should set it to zero, right? Then it show, should show one, and then one again. But evidently, when we look at this program, it says one, then two. Why does that happen? Because I use the static keyword. Since I use the static keyword, this static short count equals zero. This variable count is already stored in memory and it cannot be reinitialized. Reinitialized. So you can look at it like this. Once it initialized this, it completely ignored it this time around. So all it's looking at is saying return plus plus count since it's already initialized. And that's the cool thing about how the static keyword works. So if you need something to last the duration of your program, then the static keyword could be useful and it could be useful for a counter or for something that you only need once or yada, yada, yada. Now the static keyword has another interesting um, interesting property when it comes to classes and I will be teaching you guys about uh, the singleton type class because I do love to use singletons and uh, even though it, it's divided some people love it some people hate it whatever it's up to preference um, but with the singleton class uh, basically the way the singleton class structure works is that you have a single instance of that class and it does rely on using the static keyword and I'll show you um, how uh, class methods and stuff work with the, the static keyword. So we're going to make a, a class called class uh, like we did in the last tutorial. And um, what we're gonna be doing is, sorry about that. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna say, uh, we'll do the same function again. So we'll say static and um, count. Now the one thing that you have to note about st that you have to note about static methods is that they cannot have regular variable data types inside of them. So for example, I'm just gonna put in um, counter in there. So if we go to our class.cpp and we say um, um, we say int count, and we don't have to put the uh, the static keyword whenever we're declaring it. So you put int count, and yep. Yeah. So if I was to put counter plus plus, it says a non-static member reference must be rel relative to a specific object. The reason why you cannot put non-static variables in there is because a static a static function or method or whatever does not need an instance of a class in order to work. 
does not need an instance. It just it's just called by the class itself because it lives for the span of the program. So you can only use static type variables in a static type method. So, um, but just to show you how it works with classes, I'm going to do the ex exact same uh, example. So I'm just going to say static int count um, equals zero, and I'm going to say return plus plus count. Now it, it's a bit different when we run it here. Because normally when we create a class, and I gotta include class dot h, uh, we'll say we'll we'll have our instance, and then we'll say instance dot, and then we'd call count. And uh, but the uh, I'm not sure if this would actually work, but this isn't the correct way in order to use static uh, static methods. The way we we use static methods is like so. So I'd say scdc out class colon colon and then we will call the method like I stated before like I said it before and I'll, I'll, I'll just copy and paste this just like I stated before uh, the it does not need an instance in order to run you just need to use the class the scope operator and then the static method remember the static method lives for the duration of the program and it does not need an instance whatsoever so when I call this it's going to call the count function in the class.cpp and um, if we run this to show you that it works yep it says one and then two so as you can see from that this is the reason why you cannot put non-static variables inside there because if we don't have an instance what is the value of the variables? What is the what are the variables used for? It doesn't know. So we need to use static methods that are basically that live throughout the duration of the program so that it knows what the variables mean and yada yada yada. So anyways, that's it for this, this tutorial. If you have any questions, don't be scared to comment or anything below. And um, check out my forum. And yeah, that's it. So the next video will be coming out in the next three hours. So look out for that. So thanks for watching and bye.